There we go. Awesome. Finally got a smallie. That took a while. I've been cycling through so many different jigs. Finally got one jigging a beet shad on a jig head. Too cool. I've been here a good hour. Just hitting it so hard, pounding it. take a moment to get them in here uh, heavy currents high water today want to keep them above all these boulders so he doesn't snip me off on these the edges of them also don't want him to jump too much though tricky you gotta keep them right in the right great water column That works though, it's come out of nowhere. Either they're real picky or this is a fresh fish that just moved in. One or the other. I threw so many different types of jigs in that pocket. Bucktails, smaller swim bait jigs, micro swim bait jigs. Um, I don't even remember what else. Other stuff too. Little bass. Uh, well, maybe not that little. Yeah, he's chunky. We'll get a measurement on him quick. go. Working a white spinner bait. Another smallie. Sweet. <laughs> oh man. Slow day, but fun fish. Just a couple small bass so far. Yeah. It's like a, I don't know, 15 and a half probably. There's a fish. Drifting a tube jig. Saw a big bass roll right here. Right in front of me. I don't know if he's moving around or what, but... Walleye. Figured. Not fighting very hard. I think it's a walleye. Yeah, it's a walleye. Right in the shallow end of that pool. That's pretty neat. <laughs> nice, I don't know, 16 three quarter, 17 inch walleye, right around there. Interesting cut on his tail there. There we go. Oh, a tiny bass looking for a bluegill. Oop. And don't get much smaller than that. A little micro 
Motor oil colored curly tail jig. There we go. Here's a bass. Just working a jitterbug here. <laughs> so little guy. Cool. Oh, I bet. Oh, 13 inch large mouth, 12 and a half, 13. That was fast, <laughs> right when I touched the water there. Working a chartreuse and white spinner bait. Huh. Looks like another little guy. Right around the same size as the last one, but fatter. Yeah, maybe a little bit longer. He's like 13, 13 and a half inches. Chunky. I love working spinner baits like that. Bulging them just beneath the surface. Actually caught my biggest bass that way back in the day. That one's a little better. Awesome. Nice solid largemouth, 15 to 16 inches. Slow day, but I'm picking up a few fish here and there. Tiny bass. <laughs> wow. I think I'm about to leave because it's kind of thunderstorm. I don't mind the rain, but I don't want to be stuck in the lightning. There we go. Awesome. Solid fish. Moved back to the first spot. Taking a brown and yellow bucktail jig. This guy's really kicking. I don't know what it is. Nope, don't hit that boulder there, please. Oh, I feel it. Feel the line cutting over that boulder. No good. No bueno. Oh, it's a nice smallie. Quality bass. Might even be a big one. Hard to tell when they jump. I judge fish really well when I'm holding up next to me, but I usually overguess them when they jump. Nice bass. Should have a good hook in them. Bass with pretty soft mouths. But then again, I have had a lot of bass spit the hook when they jump. Even big bass. A lot of big bass. Oh yeah, he's tugging pretty good. Oh, stay out of that line. That's like the worst thing that could happen is that line right there. One of the worst things. He's a solid one. Oh yeah. Quality master angler smallmouth. 19.4 inches. 
Just a beautiful fish. Real happy to catch her. I've kept track of my master angler game fish and I know this one's number 40 for smallmouth. There we go. Awesome. Other fish right away. Oh man. He definitely bit it. I can tell you that much. Feels like another smallie kind of. Once in a while you snag a big something or another in that little pocket. Like a carp or something. Just got to get them over these boulders nice and gentle here. I retied my jig because the line's getting all crappy but hopefully it'll be all right. You know, when they spool you way, way, way out there, you know, giant fish, big muskies and stuff, when they spool you on six pound test, the angle of the line starts to change, gets a lot lower to these rocks, and that's when you really gotta be worried about snipping. You know, it'll start clink, clinking over rocks, the line will start dragging over them, and when there's this much tension on it, it cuts that line real easy. I've lost a lot of nice, not a lot, but quite a, a, a good handful of really nice fish that way. on light line. Looks like another bass to me. And it's getting dark really fast. <laughs> like five minutes difference between the last scene and this scene. And look how much darker it is. Must be more storms pushing in, I don't know. I don't really care, I'm staying here either way. It feels strong, but I don't think he's as big. I saw him roll a little bit, he looked smaller. It's probably just a small guy. I'm guessing. Yeah, he's smaller, but not tiny. Another small mouth, awesome. <laughs> Amazing the size difference in the bass I'm catching today. That tiny large mouth versus that quality small mouth I just caught. Real funny. This guy's like another 15, 15 and a half. You know, 15 to 16. Here we go. Working a beet shad jig like before. Like I got that, I think that second bass on. For a while I now, just with a steady retrieve. Oop, shoot, there he goes. Working a brown silver with a white and brown or something like that bunny strip bucktail jig in that pocket again. Just gonna work the seams in the pockets tonight for a while. I pick some up here and there. Try to not let this one fall off when I lift them. This one's a keeper. Oh man. Get a hold of them here. It's about about 16 inches. Finally picked up another one, working a two inch black and clear little swim bait jig type thing. Another one about, I don't know, 15 and three quarters or 16. This one was 16 and a half. There we go. Another walleye right next to me here. Still picking up one here and there. Oh, stay hooked, baby. <laughs> there we go. That's a solid one. That one's probably, whew, probably 20 inches or real close to that. Look at him take out that drag, though. I'm, I'm making ground on him, so I don't think he's a muskie. <laughs> Musky on six pound test here. It's usually hard. I've, I've had it happen. It's not quite like this. I might have to walk him down though. I don't know. He's, I don't have a lot of line left on this spool. Please, please, please. I want to see you. I just had a walleye pop off, so I don't want to. This might be another walleye, but a bigger one. I don't know. Or it could be a night smallie. 
I do pick up smallies at night, but you know, not as not as many as in the day. A lot of things this could be. I felt some bite though, so got this pole doubled over here on him, trying to put some backbone on it. Really don't want to lose him. I don't know what he is. Could be smaller than I think he is because of the current, but you never really know. Would love to see him here. Trying to get a good look at him. Try. I'm right in front of here, trying to get a look at him. <coughs> I think it's a catfish. Weird. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I got junk in my that's why he's fighting hard it's a catfish just a small one that's so cool so cool I don't catch channel cats on jigs very often I catch tons of these guys here but not on jigs on bait caught a few on jigs but not many all right well since it's a cat I should have a good hook on him <laughs> that's so cool Got him on that same little two inch uh, swim bait jig. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. You get hundreds here. And almost all of them are bigger than this one. This guy looks like he's low mid 20s, probably low 20s. I don't know. Skinny too. In the crazy current, <laughs> it's right in front of me. I'm trying to pull him up here. Uh, there we go. Yeah, he's just a small guy, fighting in the current. On six pound test, that current's so strong it makes small fish feel like big fish, especially powerful fish like a catfish. He's probably, a, I don't know, 24 to 25 incher, small one. Still really need to catch them. That feels like a small walleye. Got it with a uh, steady retrieve with this same swim bait jig. Oh yeah, a real baby. It's probably like 14 inches maybe. Last couple of fish I over guessed by an inch. Earlier in that though, I was guessing pretty close. I think this is another walleye. Feels like it. Had another tiny one pop off. Right on the hook set. He felt tiny. You know, with this, this little swim bait jig, fishing these high water pools and pockets, I'm using an eighth ounce head, but it's a smaller eighth ounce head with a smaller hook. So some of the fish are popping off. It's kind of to be expected though. This looks like it uh, might be a keeper. Yeah, I got him good. Definitely a keeper. Solid 18 incher. Sweet, skinnier though. Decent fish. Feels like another walleye. Just twitching that, that jig again. Last couple fish I got on a steady retrieve, but this one I was just twitching it. Come on, stay hooked, baby. You're the last one on my limit if you're a walleye. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, stay hooked, stay hooked, stay hooked, please. Definitely could have limited out by now, but I let that first walleye go, that first keeper, earlier in the day. See, it's that small hook gap combined with all this tension from the from the strong current it makes fish pop once in a while. Oh yeah, you're a solid one. That one I said was 20 earlier was actually like 18 three quarters, but or guessed was 20. This one. This one's definitely a solid honest 20. At least. That one's a nice one. Figured I'd show you some fish quick before I head out. Picked up a limit of walleye. Also kept that small catfish. Everything else I caught today I let go.
You know, smallest Y here is about 16 inches and biggest one's right on 20 inches. So, a bunch of nice decent eaters. I'm going to share them with my friend right after I pack my nice here.